Yo, what's good YouTube? It is your boy Papalona J, aka also known as Life with Jay's Honda. Miss you guys so much. I haven't done like a video in like a little minute. You know, just a lot of life stuff. Life has been life and really hard and a lot of unexpected things. As you guys read by the title and seen the fire thumbnail, today I'm gonna be showing you guys my top five best personal life settings in as always my honda accord sport if you guys did know about these settings great if you guys didn't then you learn something new every day right before i continue make sure to give this video a big like comment down below your thoughts questions opinions subscribe to the channel and also click that bell so you guys won't miss on any more fire car content car videos i'm gonna be that honda accord guy all right so we're gonna start with the five best personal life settings first thing you want to do as always unlock the car all right guys so i made it in my car it is on i think i'm gonna probably be in, in my car for the remaining of the video but yeah just bear with me because there's a lot of things that i gotta show in my settings right so the very first thing that i have in my best personal life settings is the developer options if you guys i don't know if iphone has it on my phone there's this it's like this like menu where you can like click like a couple times then that's when your developer option is gonna pop up so let me show you all right so we're in the big menu now right first thing you're gonna want to do to access developer option is go to settings click the first one right here system when you go down to go to about go all the way down to where it says build number once you get here if you haven't done this then this step will work for you but since i already done on this step it's already going to show like i'm gonna just keep clicking it and it says no need you are already a developer if you don't have the developer options you can just click this i think like six seven eight times right one two three four five six seven eight you're going to go back and then you're going to see this option right here developer options and then here is going to ask you like if you want the the screen to stay awake desktop backup password the running services usb a whole bunch of these like settings if you guys want to take time to like see more about it and whatnot like i said this uh a lot of these settings they run on android i'm not too sure if they run on iphone but this is pretty cool you know it gives you more of options to go with what you want to connect with your phone for the ones who have android you guys exactly know what i'm talking about you have like way more options you can play around with your phone pretty much and you can like do some customizations and things like that things of that nature so you can do it on your phone you can also do it on the honda accord itself so the second best person like settings i found is if you ever seen a screen that has whenever um it, it pinpoints where your finger and then and then there's something following it like a little like dot or whatever i could show you how to do that so we're back to the menu right settings as always you're gonna go to system scroll down to now i get to do something within the developer options let me show you you're gonna go down to where it says right here right here you scroll down right here input input show touches click right here on the right click that and then you guys won't be able to see it but just trust me on this so you, you see oh you see that right you see that just like the little like this little dot that's like following yeah i see that dot like right there but I just say you go back to settings and then you see that little dot that's like following it. So pretty much if you want to take it off, you know, settings, system, scroll down to developer options. You're going to scroll all the way down to it says input, show touches, show visible feedback for touches. Yeah, so you turn that off and then you won't have no touches. So it'll just be like your finger and the screen. So the third best settings in your Honda Accord if you want to change the background to the home screen. Let me show you. What you're going to want to do is click right here. Which right now, it's currently 720. You click that. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you click that. So right here, I kind of have like this like sky type of home screen. Click here. Go up here to the settings. Clock faces. And then you have six different options here. If you want this one right here, you could preview it. And that's how it's going to look. This is the current one that I have. Let's go to the next one. You could preview it. You know, it's like this little icon here. There's a robot type. You got some palm trees preview that one same thing go back and then you have like this like white flower or something with like bugs on it so let's say if i want the um the palm trees right preview that's the one that i want okay set i go back 
and then that's what I get. All right, guys, so on to the fourth setting. This one, it has to be my number one favorite, even though it's number four. I still have one more to go. Let's say you unlock your car, right? You get in, turn the car on and everything, right? You know, there's a way while your car is unlocked, you can get your gear stick, put it in drive. The whole car will automatically lock. You don't got to worry about unlocking it, pressing the lock button. You don't have to worry about that. You can just get in your car, switch the gear stick to D, and all the cars will lock. Let me show you how. All right, back to the big screen. So again, we're going to go to your settings. You're going to go to vehicle. You're going to scroll down a little bit, go to your vehicle. And then when that loads up, you're going to go to door and window setup. You're going to go to auto door lock. It's going to actually select the timing of auto door lock activation. It's going to have off with vehicle speed, shift from P. I already have it on the settings, shift from P. I'm going to just save it. Okay, item has been selected. So I'm opening the door, correct? Okay. This means it's unlock. Unlock, lock. I'm going to press the lock, right? Back to unlock. So now when I take it off P, everything will lock. Look, one, two, three. Look, I don't need to lock it no more. If you guys don't believe me, let me show you again. Foot on the brake. Switch from P to R in three, two, one. Yeah, I like that shit, right? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. If you ask me. If you guys knew about that trick, great. If you guys didn't, well, then I'm potentially saving your life so for the fifth best setting my number two favorite let's say you're in an area where it's not like safe you know when you unlock your car usually it unlocks all the doors let's say i have a personalized settings where you unlock your car but it only unlocks the driver door and the other doors stay locked let me show you how all right again so we're back to the big menu again go to settings you're gonna scroll down to vehicle and when that loads up go to the same one door and window setup and then this one is going to be the key and remote unlock mode so this one's going to actually select which door unlocks when using the key or keyless access remote so you have two options driver door only or on doors so since it's already on the driver door only it's already there save it i'm going to turn off my car real quick and then show you guys that I'm not lying. This is a real cool trick. All right, so I just say you leave in the grocery store or whatever, or there's somebody like buy your car, you know, like worst case scenario, there's somebody buy your car. You don't want them to come inside your car. So what you're gonna wanna do is, you see my car right there? Everything is locked. Press it one time. Only the driver door opens. Everything else is locked. Next one, locked lock pretty cool right so yeah that can potentially save your life in the worst case scenario it's very a safe option so yeah so these are some of the best personalized settings that i have in my car let me know in the comments if you know these settings let me know what other settings that i didn't cover and i'll probably give you guys like a part two sometime in the future matter of fact if i get five likes five likes that's all i ask five likes i'm gonna give you a part two so if y'all really want me back five likes and i will give you guys a part two best personalized settings all right guys so i hope you guys did enjoy these five best of the best personalized settings in your honda accord if you guys made it this far thank you so much guys for watching make sure you guys give this video a big like comment down below your questions thoughts opinions anything of that nature subscribe to the channel uh the popular on the j channel and then the life with jace on the channel best two channels out on youtube in my personal opinion and also subscribe to the real spill podcast so yeah might be talking i have a lot of guests stacked up right now um just trying to do things at once all by myself you know i'm a one-man army unfortunately and i hope you guys learn a thing or two from this video thank you guys so much for watching and i am out peace catch you on the next one my mind is set and i can be whatever i want to be and that's what i want to be i want to be a top tier youtuber